How's it going everyone? My name is Swanee and I'm yet again joined by my friend Cookie. And for today's video, we're doing something a little bit different than usual. We're going over a wish list of different things that we would like to see eventually come to Helldivers 2. Now between the two of us, we have a lot of hours put into the game and as we've been playing, there's been a lot of moments where we're like, man, it would be so cool if they added this in the future. And that's basically what today's video is about. And if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, then please consider hitting the thumbs up button because it helps us out in the algorithm. And if there's anything that you want to see get added to the game in the future, then be sure to let us know down in the comments and we might go over all the best ideas in a future video. And one last thing before we get started, I just wanted to say that if we know for sure that something is in the leaks, like new vehicles or new enemy types, then we try to avoid mentioning those things in this list. And with all that said, what is the first thing that you would like to see get added to the game cookie so this one i'm actually pretty surprised hasn't been mentioned in the leaks anywhere because this this just seems like it would make a lot of sense but cryo in general now this could be a cryo gun this could be a stratagem cryo bomb cryo mines it, it, it's basically just a whole element that hasn't been really used so far basically you could use it anywhere that you're basically using fire because there's obviously flamethrowers there's the napalm strike you could do the same thing with ice and it would, it would be interesting because they could play around with it. It could obviously freeze targets. Could do a little bit of damage, but not a lot of damage. There's a lot of different things you could do with it. It would look really, really epic. It would be nice because there's not a whole lot of ways in this game to slow down the enemy. They added the stun grenade in the latest war bond, but that's basically it. And, and there's like EMP stuff that can do some stunning as well. But this, I think, would be even cooler because it would just completely immobilize stuff and it would just be it would just be neat you you could do all kinds of different strategies with it so this is something i really could see them doing and i'm kind of surprised we haven't seen that data mined yet this just seems like a no-brainer to me that cryo would get introduced in some way shape or form yeah and me and you used to play a lot of halo wars and one of the main things in that game was like you could freeze stuff with a cryo bomb and then while the stuff is frozen, that's when you hit them with like additional bombs and stuff. So if they added some sort of cryo laser or a cryo bomb and it froze everything in a big large radius, while the stuff is frozen, then everybody else could drop their like airstrikes and 500 kg bombs or whatever on the enemies as they're sitting there waiting to be killed. Now, if there is cryo, obviously they're not going to like they're going to have to defrost fairly quickly for it to be balanced, but I I agree. I think Cryo definitely deserves to be in this game and seeing Cryo work well with like some of the other stratagems could be pretty cool. There's a lot of strategy you could do with Cryo. Like, like you're saying, you could you could coordinate it with the other weapon strikes, but you can also save it for very specific instances because, like you said, they won't last that long, but could get you out of out of a tight spot. You could coordinate with your friends to be like, okay, I'll freeze this thing, then you shoot it with your gun, whether that's through stratagems or the weapons. There's there's just all kinds of stuff you could do with it, and it would look really badass. Yeah. So. Yeah, Cryo it's, grenades. It's a no-brainer for me. Cryo grenades would be a good addition to it. You could add it to almost every kind of stratagem. Cryo mortars or cryo, uh, I don't know about cryo turrets, but there's a lot of different things you could do with it. Yeah, so I agree. I think that's a pretty good idea. All right, so for my first idea, I would like to see them add some sort of minigun. I feel like this game is just drastically missing a minigun. Just being able to call in a, a, a stratagem and it's just a, a minigun would be so cool like how the the mechs have their like basically a minigun maybe you have to put on the backpack to carry all the ammo but it slows you down so you can't move around very much like maybe that's the downside yeah. but this this game desperately why haven't they added a minigun yeah like honestly when you first when you first said this to me i was like yeah that kind of sounds like something that would already be in the game but it really isn't <laughs> it just seems it, it fits perfectly with Helldivers over the top kind of action style because there's nothing more over the top in action than a dude holding a minigun just unloading on enemies like it's an 80s Schwarzenegger film. That's basically <laughs> it's basically what this game kind of associates itself with a lot of the time so yeah it's a no-brainer for me. It would just be funny, hilarious, and epic. It's exactly yeah. what this game should be. The next one I came up with has to do probably more specifically with the automatons although there is a way that you could do it with the Terminids as well but it's hacking. Uh, I thought the idea of being able to hack onto one of the robots and making them fight for you for a limited amount of time would be really really cool or maybe longer than that but probably to keep it balanced it would probably need to be a limited amount of time and th there's a lot of different ways you could do this but I just think that the base idea of having them be able to fight for you 
would be a really cool, whether that's a stratagem, whether it's a weapon attachment or something that you can have. I think either way, that would be really cool. For the Terminids, it can't be a hacking kind of thing, Maybe, but maybe there's some sort of gas you could put over them to make you fight for them. I, I don't know how that part would work, but definitely for the robots, I think this is a really, really good idea. It would be kind of fun just to have a robot fighting with you, even if it's for just a short amount of time. That kind of reminds me of uh, Halo Wars as well, because there used to be an ability where you could like one of the leaders had a, an ultimate move where they could take over the whole enemy's team for 20 seconds or something right which was always scary so if we could like use a bile titan against the other bugs like that would be crazy mm-hmm. even though i get that a bile titan you would not want to use them for very long because that would be broken but being able even able to use it for one spewing of acid would be epic it would kill like half the army <laughs> in one spew of acid yeah. And that would just be fun to watch. And in the meantime, you can prepare to have to kill it once it's back fighting against you again. Well, that's true. Like, you're waiting to extract, and then you take control of the Bile Titan, and as it's killing off all the other enemies, you're just prepping. Like, you're throwing your other stratagems underneath of it for as soon as it loses the mind control, which just instantly dies. Yeah, so it's kind of like the cryo in that way. It would, it would slow down things for you as well, so you can kind of be prepared to adjust. There's just not a lot of things in this game right now to slow down the enemy, which I, I think would be a nice implementation to add things that could do that for you. Or hacking a robot tank would be pretty deadly too. Ha- yeah, that's another one that you wouldn't be able to control them for very long, but even to just have it for like five seconds would be enough to make it uh, make it very useful. Yeah, just, just long enough to like draw the aggro of the enemy away mm-hmm. from you for a couple seconds. And hacking makes a lot of lore sense. It yeah. would just be... Yeah, it just sounds like something you should be able to do. All right, so next up on my list is, I know some people will probably disagree with this, but I want some way to be able to change your loadouts mid-mission. Now, I don't necessarily think you should be able to change your stratagems mid-mission. I think there needs to be some sort of, you know, preparation before you go into the mission. Like, okay, you look at the mission modifiers and then you choose your loadout accordingly. But there's been a lot of times where I've been mid-game and I'm like, oh man, I picked this shotgun, but I really should have picked something else. Or you just forget to change your loadout. There's been a lot of times where I'm like, I really want to change my gun. And then I start up a new match and I'm like, shit, I forgot to switch the weapon. And then I'm stuck with the weapon I don't want. And, you know, it makes sense from every time you die, you're sending a new Helldiver down. So that new Helldiver you would think would have the chance to change their loadout. So I don't know, maybe mid game, you could just hit the pause button and there's a loadout screen and then you can change your loadout. And then when you die and respawn, you'll have that new loadout selected. That's just, yeah. You know, a quality of life thing that I would like to see change that way if I want to maybe switch out my grenades or switch out my primary or secondary weapon that we're not stuck with the same weapon for a whole 40 minute mission kind of deal. This is a tough one because I totally agree. It'd be cool to have some loadout changes, even with stratagems to some extent would be kind of neat, but definitely with weapons. But I get the argument against it totally because it's about keeping the game difficult, keeping it a challenge and making sure like you better get it right at the beginning. It makes your loadouts mean more. So it like you can't just not think about your loadouts that hard so i agree with you i just i'm i want them to be able to they'd have to find a way to balance that and i think that would be kind of difficult but there's got to be a way to do that because it's especially annoying with the weapons like if you accidentally pick the wrong weapon you're kind of stuck with it well maybe they only give you one loadout change per mission or something i don't know i was i was thinking something like that but i feel like there's ways that people could do that so it would not really break the game but make it too easy to win i guess but if it's just for the weapons, I can't see that being really game breaking or anything. If you're stuck with the stratagems and you just have an option to change a weapon once, I don't think that's going to be like, well, now the game's easy. So, yeah, I think that makes sense. Or you're allowed to go in with two primary weapons. I don't know if that's too much. Maybe that's a takes a whole stratagem spot if you can come in with two primary weapons. Mm. Maybe that's a whole other idea. Maybe it's like a backpack. You have a backpack with another weapon inside of it. I mean, that makes lore sense. Mm. So, yeah, that's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, they could do that too. I don't know about extra stratagems if that's if there's a way to make that work without it making it significantly easier in the game, like too easy. I feel like there's got to be a way for them to balance that. Give you yeah. some kind of reason why it wouldn't be a good thing. Alright, so what's your uh, next idea? The next idea is something that's a little bit difficult to implement or explain exactly 
exactly what I want, but I want more options like the guard dog rover, more things that accompany you and fight by your side. I don't know how exactly I'd want it to look or be, but I just, I like the guard dog rover so much. It's a lot of fun to have something, even if it's just a robot or maybe it's a human, maybe it's an animal that goes with you and fights alongside you the whole time. Yeah. I know there's been some leaks of stuff that have talked about this in some ways, like having a AI ship come down with a bunch of soldiers that will fight with you till they die. Stuff like that would be kind of cool. I think there's a lot of different ways they could implement it. I've even thought of having real animals, but the only problem with real animals is if they die, I can't handle watching a dog get mauled to death by bugs. That's not something anybody wants to see. Yeah. Well, they could but, have like yeah. robot dogs like from uh, Battlefield. They could, yeah. They could do something like that, too. I, I just think it'd be cool to have more companion options. Like I that. agree, because there's a lot of time where I'm playing, and or maybe the servers are acting up or something, and you're just stuck either by yourself or you only have like one other teammate, but you're still on that high level difficulty. It can get pretty crazy. Like It's designed for four players, and if you only have one or two players, then you need a little bit of additional help, and having a backpack that's a, a companion or just more variations or maybe you could have a companion plus the rover backpack so you have like two little companions with you you know it's nice to have some additional firepower especially as you're running away from the enemies and they can shoot behind you and sort of take some of the, the pressure mm -hmm. off your back so yeah I, I agree i don't know what they would add but i would like to see more of that kind of stuff added too yeah and i'm not sure what the downside would be because like the rover's downside is it will often kill your teammates or at least hurt them because it just keeps shooting at stuff and if you get in the way you get in the way i don't know how that would work for a dog if it just randomly start attacking your teammates too <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, I'm not really sure how that would work. But it's a dog with, like, rockets attached to it. It just <laughs> blows up your teammates. That'd be awesome, though. A dog with rockets attached to it just sounds epic as hell. I just think more companion things would be cool. It just adds another element to the game. Or, like, a, a mini mech that's just a robot that you can't climb yeah. inside. Yeah, it could be a mini mech that fights alongside you. Like we said, the AI dudes... Uh, maybe you call on a small battalion of dudes to drop in. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff they could do with that. But I think it'd be cool because the rover adds a lot to the game. I think they should keep going with that. All right, so my next one on the list is I would like some sort of melee weapons. Now, this could be anything from, like, swords, like laser swords, to chainsaws, to regular, yeah, regular swords, to stun batons. There's so much so many options for different melee weapons that they could do because right now the melee weapon or like the melee is just smack something with your gun and you only do that as kind of a last resort they don't have like a a primary melee weapon which i think would be pretty cool but especially like against the bugs they're always straight up in your face now <laughs> melee weapon wouldn't work too well against the robots but i feel like with the bugs when there's like 10 of them just attacking you right up in your face a melee weapon would be pretty useful yeah again i i wonder how the balancing of this would work but it, it kind of seems like a little bit of a no-brainer because you constantly get involved and even with the robots they have those chainsaw dudes that get really close the sword guys so it's like the enemy has melee weapons more or less <laughs> you would think that you'd have something even if it's not that powerful it'd be better than just your fists you know or a you have sword some and shield sort of combo option. like you have a shield in one arm and a sword in the other and you can block incoming yeah. attacks i mean you could get to a point where you use a melee weapon instead of a primary weapon if it's that good and you just decide to go hog wild and get in their face now i feel like with the <laughs> the terminus that's a terrible idea but you could try to do that i guess i mean having those as options would be kind of cool I, I just think it'd be cool i mean if you want to have that uh, as a capability and again it kind of goes with the whole theme of hell divers like i want to run in there with my sword and take on the bugs <laughs> it would just be kind of funny too or you have a blade attached to your wrist that way you could have like a blade in one hand and a, a secondary like a sidearm in the other hand yeah but there's a bunch of stuff mallets they bats play around with. All, all kinds of stuff yeah yeah uh, and this actually jumps pretty decently into my next talking point because what I really want them to do a lot more with is stealth. Now, in the leaks and the data mines, there has been a lot of talk about suppressors. So that definitely seems like it's on its way, which kind of tells me that they are trying to get into the realm of stealth more. But I think there's even more they could do beyond just weapon silencers and stuff like that. And melee weapons would be a part of this because if you can sneak up on certain enemies and get behind them and like kind of stun them or knock them out without alerting any of the other enemies, that would be kind of cool. They already kind of play around with the idea of stealth because you can obviously avoid patrols and avoid fighting certain groups that you don't want to take on at that time and you can go prone and they won't see you right so there already are some stealth elements in the game 
But I think they could go further with that, so you have the option to, okay, we could blow the shit out of this place. Or we could sneak around and take them out one by one. Especially coordinating with your teammates and stuff. That could be really, really fun. And I also thought of the idea of implementing something like a throwing knife. Not necessarily a throwing knife, but something where you have the option of throwing it to disable an enemy quietly. I or think that would be kind of cool. to distract the enemy. Or that. That's actually not what I was thinking, but that could work too. Like a little kind of noise the cry thing or something. Where you, yeah, where you throw a rock somewhere and it alerts them. Oh. I, I think it would be funny if Helldivers has their own twist on that though. So like maybe they're, especially on higher levels, they'll just know where you are instantly. <laughs> just start killing well, I, feel, I feel like this is a great idea and it could work perfectly because if you have a whole team in sync and they're trying to go the stealth approach, then it basically makes it like two games in one it makes it makes it seem like the old socom navy seal games where you would go in and the whole objective was to be stealthy but something would always go wrong and then you go guns blazing and <laughs> you just had to shoot up the place and when mm -hmm. you're playing with other people especially in this game obviously something's going to go wrong so maybe you could take out one objective stealthy but then they're gonna get alerted and then it's just gun blazing after that but i like the idea of having stealth just to switch up the gameplay a little bit so that every mission is different. You have the option of, okay, guys, let's go in, infiltrate this whole base, not get spotted at all, and, and clear it out. I think that would be would be pretty neat. And that would give you a reason to use some of those uh, smoke screens and stuff that I never see right. anyone use. Yeah, because smoke is not that useful right now because basically, yeah, they can't see you, but you can't see them either. So it, it doesn't really do that much for you at this point. If there was more stealth involved, the smoke stuff would be way more useful. Even in addition to that, you could have entire missions that are based around stealth like you you have to be stealthy if they wanted to do it that way where maybe you got to save some people and if you don't they're going to get killed and then your your stealth is gone or something or you lose that mission i don't know if we want to go that route but either way that's another possibility like they break could in do and stealth. free the prisoners type deal yeah like just, i don't know if that makes sense cage. like why would terminates <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't see based on the way terminates and automatons are right now it wouldn't make much sense that they would keep prisoners well the robots but, there are cages there's a bunch of dead people dead humans in cages but i've seen cages scattered up throughout some of the maps so oh, they do okay. keep some prisoners but the bugs doesn't really make them. sense unless they had like a nest <laughs> and they were just collecting oh, humans God. to like oh i don't know i thought of something dark <laughs> well in starship troopers because you've seen it, haven't you? The movie that it's yeah, very yeah. much based on. Didn't they, like, harvest humans for their brains and become smarter? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they could do something like that where there's humans in these, like... Because they were... I think they kept the humans in sort of jail cells before they did that, too. If I'm remembering, right? I could be wrong. But I remember they would harvest their brains and stuff. So they could be... Put them in a holding tank or something. Or there could be, like, a an underground cave that you have to go into to save the humans that are held captive or something. Could, yeah. Or just a rescue mission, like someone got stuck somewhere. I mean, the, so there's a lot of different ways they could do that kind of stuff, too. Timed missions. So, yeah. yeah. The, I think stealth offers a lot of options. For me, the next one I want to talk about is the armor stand on your ship. This one's very simple, but I want to see the armor stand be customizable. Right now, it's just random armor piece. I mean, we have all these different armor sets in the game, and everybody likes to look cool. Let us decorate our armor set in the in the ship. That way, whatever our favorite armor set combo is, we can have it on display at all times. And then if we're the host, everyone could come in and see, hey, this is our cool-looking armor. I want something like that. Or just more, custom more customization stuff in the ship in general, so you can kind of give it some personality definitely I, I mean I'm a, I'm a sucker for customization I always enjoy it and that just seems like such potential there there's some of these things that they could have but that armor stands already there I and mean, the fact that that isn't already in the game is kind of surprising it's like why not and have us be able to customize that yeah, and they could have a weapon wall where you could just put weapons on display and stuff right yeah you could put your favorite weapons I, I, maybe trophies I guess maybe you could medals. find some way to do that medals I, there's a lot of different ways and people will play forever to customize their ship I would so mm -hmm. like that's 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 definitely something they should think of. I, they haven't really played with customization. And that could give much us something to spend the so currency far. on. Definitely, yeah. I mean, we just talked about how requisition points don't have a lot that they can go to. Maybe there's some way that they could fandangle that into customizing your ship. It just it it, it adds a lot more options and a lot more reasons for people to keep playing. Yeah, I, I figure that's going to happen. It's just that's not something they've played with a whole lot yet. But I think they probably will in time. The last one for me 
is a pretty simple one. It's just, I love the voice lines and the commentary of the soldiers. It's comedic and it fits perfectly to the chaos. It's, it's, it's outstanding. I really like it. There just needs to be more of it. I want to hear more voice lines and commentary. This seems like a, a thing that they will probably do and shouldn't be that hard to do, but I just want more variation. I want more voice lines and more things that they say, because mm -hmm. right now it's starting to get repetitive, even though I still enjoy it. I just, it would be nice to hear, you know, yeah. different, uh, this is kind of just like stuff. a small little nitpick, but yeah, once you play a couple mm -hmm. hundred matches and you hear the same voice lines over and over and over. Yeah, uh, it also sounds like there's only a couple people that did the voice lines. So, so with the idea that the Helldivers are constantly dying and spawning back in, it'd be nice to hear different voices too. It sounds like the same couple people every time. Yeah. So Which I, I get it, it's a small game, didn't have a big budget, but it might be something for them to think of down the line, adding more voice lines. Yeah, I agree. That would that would bring a lot of life to the game. And we might have more voice lines with more stratagems and stuff that comes out. Like, if they add vehicles, they probably have, like, specific voice lines for those and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure they will. It's And I want them to keep it the way it is, though. I don't want them to, like, change up the voice lines a lot. I want it to be over the top and crazy and add to the chaos all right so that brings up my final point and i know this one's a long shot it's a big stretch but i want to see some sort of space battles at some point like when you look up in the sky or you look out your ship window you see all kinds of stuff happening in space like the ground is shooting up at you and there's ships exploding and whatever i want to see like some sort of capital ship show up like a big ship or something, and maybe the robots are boarding your smaller ships, or there's a big enemy capital ship and you have to board it and try to fight. I know it kind of takes away from the whole hell diving aspect, but this is just something I would like to see in the future, like if they're expanding on the franchise and just adding more stuff in general, or if there's a hell divers 3. I want to see some sort of space fighting to give it more of like a horror feel of just, or like a dead space where you go onto this ship it's like disabled and the lights are all turned off and you only have your flashlight and there's just tons of bugs infested on the ship and they're trying to kill you or you got to defend the robots there's there's a bunch of stuff i would like to see or just straight up space battles like the old star wars battlefront games where you have to fly a little ship and land on other ships and take them out from the inside i, I know this is i'm basically explaining a whole different video game right here but I, i'm thinking long term some sort of space stuff yeah, I love this one. This is not something I'd expect soon, obviously, but this is something that would be so cool to do. I, it, also, it also made me like spawn a different idea of something that we didn't actually put on our list, but it's kind of related, which is just the idea of fighting indoors, because all of our fighting is done outdoors. What if we like attacked an automaton base from the inside? What if we mm. had to go to a, one of our bases that got taken over by Terminids and fight that from the inside? So we don't have any inside fighting. I think that would... Now, it would be tough with stratagems because they're all yeah. from the sky so i don't know how stratagems would work inside but i still think the idea of fighting inside would be a cool addition in general so yeah i, I love this idea I, obviously it would take a really long time for them to implement all that kind of stuff but i, I space battles i'm i'm totally for it it makes some sense with the lore i don't know how the terminids would have a spaceship but then again who knows? I, mean, I don't know how smart they are. <laughs> they are on a lot of planets, so they get around. So, so <laughs> there's, there's something going on with them. I don't know how they're doing it, but... And maybe the Terminids harvest people's brains and they become smart. I, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of why I put this one at the end, just because I knew it was kind of out there. Oh, this one, yeah, it would not happen at any time soon. This is over a year away if it ever happens, but I, I'm still here for it, unless they've been secretly working on this already. Yeah, I think this is definitely, I think it'd be cool. I just don't I, know. I think inside battles would be cool, but... though, too. Like the whole, there's a bug hole in the ground and you have to go inside the bug hole and clear it out from Yeah, from could be underground, yeah. Inside of bug, or robot factories you have to infiltrate but you're only allowed the support stratagems like the machine guns and the flamethrowers and that kind of stuff and you have to call them yeah. in ahead of time and then you can carry them down into the hole with you I, I think that'd be neat or maybe they have a whole another set of stratagems that aren't orbital they're just like they blow up areas inside I, I, i'm not sure how they would do that but yeah or it drills than... through the ceiling and lands in front of you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that would be the kind of ridiculousness that might work in Helldivers, but also would make no sense, because if they're able to do that, they could just bomb the whole factory and That's probably true. destroy it without That's you true. needing to go in there. But then again, that kind of goes with the whole, like, eh, whatever, they're just Helldivers, let them die. We'll just throw them in there instead of wasting a bomb. That kind of mm -hmm. works with the democracy. <laughs> 
liberty standpoint anyway so i I i think that'd be a cool addition all right well that's gonna do it for our list of everything we'd like to see get added to helldivers 2 as i said earlier let us know down in the comment section what you guys would like to see added to the game and we'll give a heart to the to our favorite ones and we'll talk about the best ones in a future video also just something i feel like we always need to say when we do these kind of videos is this is not us saying that this game has all these kinds of problems and needs to be fixed and needs updated we love this game <laughs> i want to make that clear because i know people are going to think otherwise but yeah this is this is just saying stuff that would be cool to get added i enjoy the game a heck of a lot the way it is but there's always room for improvement always cool to see additions added to the game so thought i should throw that disclaimer in there yeah all right well if you guys are new here hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications that way you don't miss out on any future helldivers 2 videos and that is going to do it for us and we will talk to you all next time